Hi, and welcome to another video for the PHP 2 class on object-oriented programming. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the static method when you're working with objects. Now, the static method is not necessarily something as a beginning programmer you need to use to create a useful app. However, you will see it in very frequent use in a lot of applications, so you, under, you need to understand how it works. So let's uh, start a demo to make sure that we understand how static works. So I created a new project, and now I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to call this thing uh, static demo PHP. And then I'm also going to create a new class called user. And I'm going to select the right folder. OK, so let's start with user here. So let's define our class as user. Let's give it some properties. All right, so there's a pretty standard uh, class. I have a username and a password. Now I'm going to define a static property. A static property is we're going to set something that is going to be the same for absolutely every object that is in the uh, application. So for instance, everyone should have a minimum password length of five characters. And so, since it is the same for everybody, we call this a static property. We could also define a static method. And so I'm going to create this method called public static function validate password. And all this will do is it will return a true or false, not, to, not if the person logged in correctly, but to check if the password length is the minimum five required. I'm going to go back and do a little bit of refactoring. This number five here, obviously it refers to the minimum pass length up here. So instead of putting a five in here, I want to refer to the object here with the property of minimum password length. So you would think that you would probably use this and then type in minimum password length. However, I don't see it coming up as my suggestions. That's because it's a static method. I can come up with properties such as password and username. Those are public properties. So instead of using this, we use a little different item. We call it self. So let's say self and then colon colon. And now you can see the static property listed as minimum password length. So now the password should be validated if it is five characters or longer. So let's save this. Let's go in and go to our other file, the static demo, and let's create a new uh, let's create a new variable. Let's call it pw, and let's say it is equal to the uh, password asdf. Now you would think that we would have to create an instance of our object user to be able to access any of our properties. Well, if you want to get the specific username and password for a specific person, yes, that's true. However, if all we need to do is use the static methods, we can talk directly to the object uh, through a different format. Okay, so you can see that I am accessing a static method using the double colon uh, format again, and then I pass in this pw variable here. So I'm going into my browser and let's see if I can find static demo, and let's try the static demo php. Okay, I have an error. It says users not found. I forgot to do the import, it looks like. So I better do im or use uh, or require once and then the word user. So we'll try user.php and refresh the page. And there we go. Your password is too short. Let's go back and try another one. So let's try um, password2 and we'll make this one a lot longer. And let's see what that one does. So let's save that, refresh the page, and now your password is long enough. And so there is a quick demo on using a static method. And so what you should learn from this demo is that when you put the word static into something, it requires a common value for all instances of the object. So everyone here has a minimum password length of five, and we have a function that will run uh, equally for all users. 
So that's static methods and properties in PHP.